Now, because this weekend is Star Wars Celebration over in Europe, last Sunday I decided I was going to sit down and I was going to watch my new 4K disc of Solo, A Star Wars Story, which Christine was nice enough to get for me for St. Patrick's Day. So I sat down to watch this last Sunday evening and had a really fun time with it. How long is this movie? I don't think it was too long. 135 minutes, so it's 2 hours 15 minutes. It kept me engaged the whole time. I hadn't seen this since, since I saw it in the theater. I think I saw it twice in the theater. I took... I think I went the first time I took the kid and then the second time I took Christine and we saw it. And I was, for the longest time, I maintained that this one, which is from 2018, was one of my least favorite Star Wars movies. But even still, even my least favorite Star Wars movies, I still watch them. Except for one, except for, uh, I'm not going to get into it. I don't want to mention it right now. But I, I contend that at the time that this was, it was quite boring and I didn't really enjoy it. Just... It was kind of just more of the same, more of what we already knew. It hit all the beats there. No one was bad in it. I mean, everyone was expecting Alden Ehrenreich, who plays young Han Solo, to that everyone was going to hate him, especially Star Wars fans. I haven't heard really anyone talk about how they didn't like his performance. And he was great in it. You know, the, uh, the new guy, the Scandinavian guy who plays Chewbacca. Amelia Clark was in it. We'll like to see more of her character. You got Woody Harrelson in there playing, uh, playing like a Star Wars Billy the Kid or something. Donald Glover as as a young Lando Calrissian. He kind of steals the whole. He steals every scene that he's in. He's great. They put Paul Bettany in there as the villain because they had to reshoot it all. You got uh, Phoebe Waller Bridge, I believe, is the. Um, yeah, Phoebe Wall Bridge. She's the uh, the droid, L L three. Was it L three, L seven? And she's such a sassy droid. That's uh, she just constantly. And apparently, her and Lando have a relationship. I don't know what's going on there. That's uh, it alludes to some weird things there. Looking it up on Rotten Tomatoes has a sixty nine percent fresh critic rating. And a 63% audience score, I guess. I found new appre appreciation for this now that I've watched this again. And uh, I think it actually moved up on my Star Wars movies ranking. Maybe sometime I'll go through that and I'll rank all of them for which ones I like the most. Maybe Christine and I will do it together. And we'll review all of them and then at the end we'll do a ranking for them. I could see myself watching this again. It was fun. I mean, it's from, how old is this now? It's five years old now. It seems to have grown on me. The, uh, what, are, what are some highlight parts? I mean, we get to see the Kessel Run. That's interesting. What's his name? Woody Harrelson's character. He's just constantly out for himself and betraying everyone. That's the only reason why he's lived so long is because he doesn't form ties to anyone. And if it's like, oh, Tandy Newton who's in it is dead. Okay, that sucks, but he's just going to keep going right on. You know, that's that's life in the Star Wars galaxy. Would have liked to see more Amelia Clark. Would have liked to see more Lando by uh, Danny Glover. No, Donald Glover. Or Danny Glover's a different guy. But I would also like to see more of Alden Ehrenreich as Solo. He did talk about a month ago or so in the news about... Yeah, he'd like to return. However, that's a non-story. Actor wants to be in a big Star Wars or big franchise property and get paid millions of dollars. Of course they do. What are they, what are they gonna say? No, I don't want to do that. Even even Sir Alec Guinness, who hated Star Wars and did nothing but trash Star Wars until his uh, his dying breath. I mean, he did all these auteur and artistic pictures, which I mean, he was great in all of them. There's a reason why he's uh. Sir Alec Guinness, but they didn't make him any money. It, it was it was Star Wars how he made his money. So there was an article that came out in Variety on Wednesday saying Donald Glover talking to Lucasfilm about Lando returning. I would love to play him again. Once again, that's a non-story. Of course, he wants to be in Star Wars. Every actor in Hollywood wants to be in Star Wars. Okay, 
Even Christian Bale has come out to say they want to be in Star Wars. Everyone grew up watching Star Wars. Well, sorry, not everyone. I know in other parts of the world, like in China, they didn't get the original Star Wars trilogy. So every time a Star Wars movie comes out there now, it bombs because they have no nostalgia for it. And there's a lot of people, I meet people all the time, not in the Star Wars, don't like it. Maybe they see one of them and, they, and it wasn't a good one and they didn't like it. Yeah, I can see that. When I was in university, I met a lot of people that never watched Star Wars. And I'm like, okay, if you ever want to sit down and watch them sometime, you let me know. Let's see. So Donald Glover is eyeing a return to a galaxy far, far away. During a video interview with GQ magazine, the actor con confirmed that he is currently talking to Lucasfilm about reprising the role of Lando Calrissian in a future Star Wars project. That's what's key about this, that he says he's actually talking to them. And with what we've heard Kathy Kennedy say at Star Wars Celebration this weekend, sounds like they're come, they're getting ready to do something. Um, yeah, check out the Star Wars Celebration stuff on uh, YouTube. Don't believe me. Uh, that's why I've been doing a lot this weekend, that and putting, putting together episodes. What that project would be is remaining under wraps. As Glover said, we're talking about it. That's as much as I can say without Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy hunting me down. Yeah, they're not allowed to say anything. Actors are never allowed to say anything about what they're working on or what's coming out. Even when they're promoting it, it's, what can you tell us about this movie? Well, I'm in it and it's about this kind of thing. And that's all I can say. Because otherwise they could get sued for giving away the story. And, uh, and they'd be in violation of you know, a dozen NDAs that they have to sign. So now Kathleen Kennedy's talking about this. I, I hope it's a it's a movie. I mean, it could be a Lando movie. I'm up for that. It could be so. It could be a prequel to Solo. It could be a it could be Solo two. You know, Solo and Lando team up with the Millennium Falcon and they go arguing around the galaxy, buddy cop style. I'd watch that. Or even if it was just him and. Uh, Bring back Phoebe Waller-Bridge to play uh, L3. Is it L3? L4? Oh, that's bugging me. I gotta look it up. Where is she? Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Hold on. Phoebe Waller L3. L337. That's her. Oh, and the other guy that was in it. Junas Sutamo. That's the, that's the new guy who plays Chewbacca in these movies. There's the, if you go to the StarWars.com website, there's a funny picture of, it's not, it's not funny, it's a cast picture of Star Wars, the Alkali cast, and they're all standing there, and the shortest members are in the middle, Daphne Keene and Amanda Stenberg, and then it just kind of goes out, and then he's on the end there, and he's like a foot and a half taller than the next person, <laughs> and he really stands out, and compared to Daphne Keene, he's like two feet taller than her. Anyway, seems like a nice guy, though. What was I saying about Solo there? We get to... Oh, yeah, about this, about what they're doing. I hope it's a movie. And, yeah, it could be before, it could be after, it could be both of them, it could be just Lando. It could bring back L3. If, if it's a continuation, then they could bring back uh, Amelia Clark for more of her character. I'd watch more of her character. Kira, I think it was. And, and Han together, even if it's just in the background, even if Alden Ehrenreich is just a supporting character and not the lead, fine with that. If it's a series, I'll be happy with that too, but I think a, a movie, a big budget movie would be better. However, I don't know if they're going to do that because this is the only Star Wars movie that lost money. And I don't know what the budget of it was, but this... This movie had a lot of drama behind the scenes because this is the movie where famously uh, big Hollywood directors, producers, writers, Phil Lord and Chris Miller were hired and then they, they were making this movie and then they got fired because everyone gets fired over at Lucasfilm. They got fired during production and then they brought, so Lucasfilm brought in Ron Howard who, is, who works for Lucasfilm as well many times. They brought him in, finished up solo, didn't get the bet, didn't make money, but they end up reshooting like 80 to 90% of this film. I don't remember what the actual number was, but it was a huge number. So they had to reshoot the majority of the film. 
So having to redo the production stage, because you got pre-production, production, post-production, post but having to redo the production stage, that is a lot of money. Especially with Star Wars when they're doing locations shooting and going around the world, or even if they're shooting it on the volume, which I think a lot of it was on location, and then on sound stages, but whew. So, and because of that, and because it wasn't that well received, it just, it lost money. It lost a lot of money. So I don't think they're, they'll do it as a movie. I would like them to. But whatever we get on this, I'm in for it. Can't wait. Are you a fan of of Solo, a Star Wars story? I, I wasn't, but now I am. If you haven't seen it since it came out in the theater, maybe go back and have a, have a look at it again. Or not. Maybe you really hated it. But whatever it is, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below.